this is how i got level 25 in under 24 hours now i'm on chapter 7 i'm not even done yet by the time that this video releases i'm already gonna have beat chapter 7. use these boots to rerun normal stages the first stage that you do it is actually a free run but when you go back and do it again it's going to cost as you can see here it costs zero boots for the first time you do it so make sure you three star this so you don't have to go back and do it again you're typically going to be spending your boots on resources just like any other type of gotcha game you know but what sources are you actually going to start spending your boots on? Each Vita's Nightmare goes up in EXP while still costing the same amount of boots. As you can see, 212 for 40 boots. Stage 2, 416 for 40 boots. Let's just go ahead and skip up to 6. 232 for 40 boots. What I did was keep pushing the story until I actually couldn't push it anymore. And the soft cap is around Master Book level 9. Master Book level 9 is when you're gonna actually start needing a little bit more EXP. That's when I had started running the Vita's Nightmare. Um, this system is kind of a little weird because what you can do here is you see these uh hero shoes right here. Basically, it's just like a times two multiplier. It's gonna cost 80. It costs 80 to make one of these boots. Keep in mind that it costs 80 to make one of these boots. Key point right here is because if you do other stages, like any of the enhancement stages, any of the beast nest, any of the sealed prisons, as you can see, these don't cost 40, they cost 20, they even cost 10. You can use the hero shoes to get two times the rewards, two times the EXP, two times everything. You don't wanna use a resource that cost 80 of your stamina. You don't wanna use your hero shoes, which you used 80 shoes to make, which is your stamina on an instance that only costs 10 or 20. In that case, you would just want to keep running the 10 and 20 individually. You don't want to use your boots because that's literally 80 stamina that you're wasting. So what I did, as I said before, was to do the Vita's Nightmare. And I think I got up to stage two. I am not a hundred percent. Now, the next thing that you may or may ask is what characters did I use? And is it necessary to have these characters? Now, I beat the story with Sansar, Lucian, Seiya, and believe it or not, Yanko. But there is actually two units that you must have in order for smooth sailing. That is going to be Sansar and Lucian. Sansar, well, I'm just going to let this clip speak for itself. All right, as you can see, Sunsara is an absolute freaking unit. She is a supporter, but yet she hits like a freaking god. I mean, she needs to be changed to DPS because I, I don't know what she's supporting. She's supporting my story progression. <laughs> and the reason why I said Lucian is because Lucian has a heal. He has two heals and the, the ultimate is amazing. It heals everybody, right? It just straight up heals everybody. And he gets the ultimate rather quickly. And then when he uses uh, his normal skill, you know, he, he, he has these swords that circle around him when he hits it shoots the swords out while also healing them for you know the attacker's hp my sensar she heals for like 400 500 a piece whenever she's hitting because sansar is dealing all the damage and cleaving everything and then you have lucian to make sure that she's staying alive just having lucian and sansar you will be able to beat the entire game you could literally only pull lucian sansar and then run with leon run with yanko and run with ronnie and you can beat the entire game guaranteed like if you were if you wanted to save your pools absolutely save your pools mimex on your resources you can do that get all your gear on her first and then you work on lucian and then you work on yanko and ronnie or then you work on leon then then yanko i would say you want to work on leon yanko kind of hits good anyway regardless of what level he was at but clearly you know having him level up is going to be better overall now what type of gear do i have on my uh sansar she doesn't really have anything too special i did manage to pull this great sword here it's actually pretty crazy aside from that her relics aren't anything too crazy the executioner set this is literally the same set that i have got when i started playing the game executioner is the second vita's dungeon i'm on the sixth and I still haven't replaced their gear. I haven't even upgraded everything. All my other characters, they have gear T5 and up, T5 dungeons and up, all the other characters, but Sansar, she's still rocking 
the executioner set the executioner set is just good on her which is all damage is dealt by 20 percent when overflowing uh, power after stars is activated if you don't know what that is that is the r ability that comes up when it's kind of like you do a little Rawr! and then you have that whole swirl around you it lasts for a decently long time and the amount of damage that you can dish out with sansar is just phew, once again like i said so the executioner set does work wonders on her now my recommendation for you like I said already, it's gonna be Lucian and it's going to be Sunsar. However, you want Xanthia as well. I did have the privilege of being able to use her. And let me tell you, there's gonna be some dark stages, right? The last boss, he's weak to the dark element. And she is a dark unit. Let's just say you're gonna be playing the game on super easy mode. If I was playing the game on easy mode, you're going to be playing the game on tutorial, basically. I have not done a single instance and actually lost. Every single instance that I've done, I've actually won on the first try. And uh, I did want to make sure that it wasn't me like, oh, thinking that the game is too easy or whatever. So apparently people are struggling. I looked at the Discord. People were struggling at uh, stage seven. It, I didn't struggle at all. It was just a matter of doing the rotations. And if you guys do need a guide about how to swap and get the most um, amount of damage, when you get up to those upper tiers i can drop that because i can see how some people will actually struggle if they don't rotate through their characters properly this is one of those games where you can rotate and pump damage and it is uh me seeing but yeah that's gonna be it for this video that is exactly how i got to level 25 in under 24 hours i do hope that this was helpful for you guys and gave you some insight on what you should do and what you want to do before a reset happens or come around the corner if you did like this video leave a like comment and subscribe bye bye